Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very interesting math question and did you study well at school? Here in the middle of the screen we have this question, 4 times 4 divided by 4 times 4. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, however many people are going to get this problem incorrect, so if you could do this without a calculator, write your solution down into the comment section right now, what do you think about it? Right here we have only 3 options, so it's not a lot of options, we have option A, option B and option C, so right now choose one option, what do you think is a correct answer? To this question and write your option down into the comment section. We will check our answers here in just few minutes, so it will be really interesting and it's a great test for everyone to test our school knowledge, it's it's really great. Okay, so here is our question, we can see in the middle of the screen we have 4 times 4 divided by 4 uh, times 4 and a lot of students might be saying, okay, let's go from left to right, for example, right here we have 4 times 4 equal to 16, we have the same 4 times 4 on the right side equal to 16, and a lot of students say, okay, this division in the middle, so we have 16 divided by 16, it's equal to 1, yeah, and a lot of students might be saying, okay, option A is a correct answer to this question, a lot of students say like that, and I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect, I want you to understand that in terms of math we can't solve our question randomly, we can't do whatever we want, we need to know about basic math principles, basic math order of operations and a lot of these things, but we need to know about a correct approach, to be honest, because we can't solve our question absolutely randomly, we can't, for example, let me change my pen real quick, we can't, for example, do multiplication first, then we want to do, for example, multiplication right here, and then division in the end, so we can't solve our question randomly. We need to know about the thing which is called order of operation, and what I mean order of operation? I mean, uh, everyone know about these mathematical operators like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, sometimes parentheses, sometimes inner parentheses, yeah, sometimes like uh, powers, like 2 to the power 5, and a lot of these things, and this, all this mix, we need to order, we need to know what is the correct order to perform it, we can't do it uh, from left to right, and we can't solve this question randomly, we can't say that addition first, subtraction second, multiplication third, division fourth, yeah, we, we need to know what is the correct order to perform these mathematical operators. And right now, let's forget a little bit about this answer, just keep in mind that uh, okay, we solved it, we solved this, we said that correct answer is 1, but right now let's learn about order of operation, just look at it. So we're here we have order of operation, and this order of operation is called PEMDAS order of operation, but maybe mm, it just depending on what country you live in, for example in India and the UK people use BODMAS order of operation, but this is absolutely the same thing, PEMDAS and BODMAS are absolutely and the same, both are correct order of operation nowadays, it's just depending on what country you live in. But uh, to be honest, order of operation for parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction is absolutely the same for both orders. So I, I will use PEMDAS order of operation, which is like an Im important thing in Europe, in the USA, and a lot of a lot of countries, and right now let's try to figure out, let's try to learn, let's try to make a little bit of uh, research about this PEMDAS. PEMDAS, this is not an English word, this is like a quick checklist, so this each of these letters stands for something. For example, let's go from left to right, because we are talking about priority, and the correct way to explain it is to go from, from left to right. So here we have like higher priority, and on the right side we have lower priority. Yeah, we have this priority word right here. Okay, so letter P stands for parentheses. We are talking about this type of brackets. Everyone knows, like in 99% of cases, people use this type of brackets. Sometimes people use this type of bracket, sometimes this one, okay, so the highest priority has parentheses, so we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses, so parentheses is a group and symbol, okay, this is higher priority. Okay, the next thing is exponent, so after parentheses we move forward to the next step, the next step is exponent, this basic powers, don't be scared about it, this is for example 5 to the power 5, 5 to the power, or not like 5, for example 10 to the power 2, we need to raise these we need to raise this 10 and 5 to this to this power, and of course we need to have this power. For example, in our question we don't have it, but I will solve it a little bit later right now. Let's try to make a quick research about this uh, PEMDAS. Okay, the next thing is multiplication and division groups. So multiplication, M stands for multiplication, and D stands for, for division. Why I mention it at once? Because this is one, one common group. Don't forget about it, because a lot of students say, okay, multiplication 
And this letter is before D, so it means multiplication first, then division, and it's not works like that. Multiplication and division have the same priority. And I'm not talking about implicit multiplication, I'm talking about basic order of operation. And in 99% of cases, in 99% of cases on your calculator, on your internet library, I'm talking about the next thing. I'm talking about the next stuff. We need to perform it from left to right. And whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division, for example, 2 divided by 2 times 2. Whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division, we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right. So first of all, the main rule is the next. We need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. Let's look closely. We have two signs, the first one and the second one. So we have multiplication and division. And the first sign from left to right is this division. So we need to divide. So we need to put like imaginary brackets right here. And we need to do this at first. But when we have a different thing, when we have two, for example, times 5 divided by 2. So when we have multiplication division mixture, not like division multiplication as right here, we, we have division first. Right now we have multiplication first, so we have multiplication division mixture. So we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right according to the same algorithm. So we need to put imaginary brackets in our head because the first sign from left to right is this multiplication. So right here uh, in division multiplication mixture division first and of course when we have multiplication division mixture we have multiplication first and we are talking about only multiplication division case okay only mixture of multiplication division without addition a parenthesis exponents we are talking about this this mixture so it's extremely important part right now because our question is about this about this part so we i will you will understand it okay so and the last step is addition a stands for addition s stands for subtraction but to be honest in 99 percent of cases people like don't need this order of operation anymore at this point because uh, right here we have only addition subtraction and when we have like uh, 2 minus 3 we don't need like to know this PEMDAS because we can easily solve it in a few in a few few seconds on like uh, less than second okay and I hope you understand it so it was a quick research about this PEMDAS order of operation and right now how can we apply this correct concept correct order of operation to this question and of course then we will say okay we solve it according to PEMDAS and we, so we can easily say that this is 100% correct answer okay so i know uh, i hope you understand about my thoughts according to mf question we need to know about a correct concept correct approach and then we can easily say that this is a correct answer and uh, in a previous step we just solve this question randomly we just multiply right here we just multiply right here and then we will have we have division in the in the middle so we solve this question random but right now let's try to apply this pemdas order of operation how can we apply it Okay, uh, we can apply it in the next in the next way. First of all, we can easily write this PEMDAS right here, uh, this quick checklist. But I wanted to erase this real stuff, and I wanted to erase this from here because it's it's better for you to see this priority from left side to right side. So right now, let's apply this PEMDAS to our to our question. So the first step according to PEMDAS order of operation is parentheses. So right now, let's scan where do we have parentheses. Let's look at it. We don't have any brackets. We don't have any like that things like that. We don't have any. We don't have any stuff like that. So we can easily reject these parentheses. We don't have it. We skip it. Let's move forward to the next step. The next step is multi exponent. So we need to find powers. Let's look at it. Where do we have powers? Uh, we don't have any of those. We don't have any four squares, four cubes. We don't have any of those. So we can easily skip this part. We don't have any exponents. Really great. Right now, multiplication division group. Let me change my pen real quick. So multiplication and division group. Let's scan where do we have it. So we have multiplication right here. We have division, we need it, and we have multiplication right here. So this is exactly our case, okay? So this is exactly our case. And uh, I want to say further, we don't have addition, we don't have we don't have subtraction, you can easily see it. So we have only multiplication and division mixture, and here is the key moment, how can we perform these mathematical operators? Of course, from left, from left to right. So let's do this. So from left to right, 4 times 4, this is the first sign uh, which comes from left to right. We have three signs, to be honest. We have the first sign, we have the second sign, and we have the third sign. And at the key moment, we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right. The first sign from left to right is this multiplication, so we need to multiply 4 times 4 which is equal to 16. 16, the next thing, we have this expression. So don't forget about it. Don't skip it. Don't jump from left to right. We just need to rewrite this because we still have this division by 4 and multiplication 
multiplication by four. All right. So we really hope you understand this step. We just uh, we just uh, multiply it first. Next we have uh, so sorry right here we have multiplication. Yeah. So this is our after first step. We have the next thing. And then as you can see uh, before as you can saw it before we multiplied four times four in the previous step. So we jump from left to right. But right now we still have multiplication division mixture. So we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right. And right now the first sign from left to right is this division. So we have 16 divided by 4 equal to 4 and we still have this times times 4 and it looks like our answer is is 16. So here is the few thoughts about it. So the first sign from left to right right here is multiplication. So we need to put imaginary brackets in our head and we need to perform it first of all from left side. Right now we need to rewrite all of this stuff. We rewrite this expression right here and the next thing we have division multiplication mixture. Okay, we have we have right here multiplication, division, multiplication mixture, but doesn't matter how many mm, these mathematical operators we will have, like mm, for example 10, 10 uh, multiplication signs, doesn't matter. We need to perform it step by step from left to right. Multiplication first, okay, right now we have division multiplication mixture. What is the first sign from left to right? Of course, this is division from left to right and 16 divided by 4 equal to 4 and we still have the last thing we have we have multiplication. So according to PEMDAS we can write it real quick because according to PEMDAS our correct answer is is 16. But let's go back to our uh, in the beginning because in the beginning we said that correct answer is a uh, correct answer is one. But as I told before, we can't solve our question randomly. We can't do whatever we want. And in this case, we just do bad things because right here we just multiply at first. The next thing we jump from left to right and it's really bad thing. And here is the quick hint, quick trick for me right here because this is a correct answer with parentheses. Okay, with parentheses, this is a correct answer. We are talking about parentheses first 16, parentheses right here 16. So in terms of parentheses, we can jump, okay? We can do whatever we want. We, we, we need to find parentheses. We have right here parentheses because in 99% of order of operation, for example, PEMDAS, uh, order of operation or BODMAS, the first thing is to perform uh, first step. First step is brackets parentheses. So in 99% of cases, the first step is parentheses. And in this case, we need to perform parentheses at first. So with parentheses, correct answer 100% is is one. So when we have mm, one, this is to be honest, this is a bad thing when you solve this question and you solve and you say that correct answer is one. But uh, this answer takes place with brackets. Okay, with brackets, we can easily say a correct answer is one. In our case, we don't have parentheses, so we need to say that correct answer is uh, correct answer is 16. So when you solve this question and said that correct answer is 16, well, you need to, you can, you can easily be proud of yourself. When you say correct answer is A, well, you need to review a little bit your basic mask. Answer is A with parentheses, okay? We are talking about this, uh, this step and we are talking about this step. Okay, so I really hope you understand when correct answer, uh, correct answer is one with parentheses right here and right here. And forget about this jumping from left to right because this is a very bad thing and you need to review a little bit about your basic mess when you say correct answer is one. Correct answer is 16. You can be proud of yourself if you say that correct answer is 16. And here is like a quick trick, okay? So in terms of math, for example, you plug in this stuff in a, in a calculator, you need to plug in the whole entire problem. So we have four times four divided by four and times and times four. And a lot of students plug in this stuff and of course correct answer will be 16, 100% because we're talking about calculator. Calculators is smart enough to know about order of operation. But right now here's a quick trick. For example, let's look in, in the end. In the end we have division by four and multiplication by four. So let me just change my pen real quick. So we have multiplication by four and division by four. Let's try to analyze this expression. So we divide by four and we multiply by four. So to be honest, it changed nothing. We can easily we can easily cancel all this stuff from here. And you ask me why? Because it changed nothing. For example, when I write the thing with in terms of like addition subtraction, so for example, we subtract two and we add two. It changed nothing. Okay? So I really hope you understand this quick trick, but if you're smart enough in terms of algebra, you can easily look at this in a perspective mm, like uh, of this thing in the end. So we have division by four and multiplication by four. It changed nothing. It did the same thing as subtraction by four and addition by four. Okay? And the correct answer, of course, will be four times four will be will be 16. So it was my explanation about it. I really hope you understand it. I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you Aaron for your time. You can also write your notes, write to respond down into the comment section. I really appreciate it. Wish you all the best in your life and have a great day.